What is up traders and welcome to another tutorial video for Invest Beyond. Uh, today's video, I basically want to break down one of my favorite patterns in the Forex market. It's not a pattern that only happens in the Forex market. We see it across equities, we see it across commodities. It is just a fantastic pattern to trade should uh, all the confirmations be there when we're looking to trade it. And that is obviously the Illuminati triangle. Now in layman terms, uh, we're basically just looking at triangle formations in the market. Uh, I like to call it the Illuminati triangle because like I said, if you have the, all the confirmations you're looking for when trading this pattern, it's an extremely powerful pattern. Uh, I use it as a bullish continuation pattern, but keeping in mind, it is what we call a terminal pattern. Uh, so I love trading these terminal patterns, you know, ascending wedges, descending wedges, uh, triangles, everything like that, purely because what I mean by it being terminal is the pattern has to end. Uh, it's usually an occurrence where we see a consolidation in price and we're looking at price squeeze. So what we as, tra what as, what we as traders are looking for uh, is an essentially a breakout in the direction that, uh, uh, well, well, our market bias is. So we can see an example of the triangle breakout here. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm basically going to be breaking down this EJ trade that we traded last week. Um, you know, we're 140 pips deep. We've got 267 pips. I've extended the target, which I'll update members about. Uh, but we're basically going to break down this EJ trade, top-down analysis from the weekly down to the four-hour, why we took it. And then we're also going to break down a couple of the other trades where we've used this pattern uh, for tremendous success. And one other thing I also just wanted to drop in this video because I think, you know, it's an important aspect of trading. A lot of people don't understand is correlations. Um, and what we, you know, we're going to look at the DXY. We're going to look at the dollar index. For people who don't know what that is, it's basically the measurement of the dollar uh, strength against the basket of major currencies. So it's an extremely important gauge on the dollar performance. Um, I've been extremely vocal about the dollar breaking down, uh, obviously, you know, due to the fundamental reasons in America, we've got a lot going on, uh, elections, you know, current coronavirus, everything like that. And we've seen a huge change in trend on the dollar. And I've been very vocal about this breakdown and it actually hit my target forecast for 93.22 last week. Uh, there's a lot of technicals behind why I did decided to choose that target, but we're also going to look at how that, uh, how we use that to correlate the breakouts and how I knew the dollar was going to sink based on confluences of patterns within the forex market. Remember, currencies follow suit on current on correlations, commodity currencies, everything like that. Uh, there's a whole other video to cover for that. We've got a lot of information to cover through today, guys. Um, so you know, let's crack in it. Let's get on with it and let's break down this EJ trade first. Uh, like I said, we're going to be focusing on this little pattern here. But first, what we really need to do is we need to make a confirmation that we are moving in the direction of the pattern of continuation. That way, you know, it's a fairly fail safe trade because, you know, we're trading on trend. So we're just going to wipe all this stuff on this chart. We're going to start with a completely naked chart for you guys. Obviously, we're going to be starting on the weekly chart here. So the first thing we want to do is obviously we want to establish trend on the week, right? Uh, this will give us money flow on the big money, and it will also give us an idea. And to be honest, looking at this chart, you know, you can see why trading weekly can be quite substantially important. Um, first thing we're going to do, obviously, we mark trend high to low. You can see that we are in a complete downtrend here. Uh, on a weekly level, euro is being hammered lately. But obviously, on the fundamental side of the euro with the euro block fund and uh, the corona relief packages, you know, the euro has been a lot of people have been sort of looking at the euro as a new safe investment, which is why we've seen it break out massively across uh, across multiple pairs, including EU, which has basically wiped out uh, two years of price action in the space of one month. And that is massive, guys. Uh, EU, EJ, everything like that. EJ will follow suit on the back of, again, euro versus risk off currencies. It's going to be slower. Uh, yen's a lot more, it's got a lot more appeal at the moment uh, than the dollar. Uh, but they do move in a suit a little bit. You can see that obviously EJ started its trend here in 2018 as well and has come to its trend here. And here, in my mind, you know, we've got this huge break of trend here, including a very successful breakout and retest of these levels, uh, which was one of the reasons why we decided, that, okay, we are bullish on the Euro JPY very clearly. This is a beautiful, uh, you know, if you trade, a lot of people trade this on the hourly, a lot of people trade this on the four hour, but you know, this is a very clear trend line break of structure and a retest. Um, so we're just going to mark a couple of levels on here, obviously just some key levels that we were looking at in the market. Uh, you know, we've got these levels here. This was a key level for me to really be focusing on purely because we had this form of resistance coming into play on the initial breakout. Uh, so what we were looking for on any sort of breakout and retest is we're going to see it challenge these highs in this area. Uh, let me just mark that out. Uh, and that's exactly what we got. 
we got that challenge over here and this is where we started to trade EJ. Now in terms of resistance markers coming into the market, um, what are we looking at? You know, This is predominantly the area of resistance that I'm looking at, which you can see we're coming quite close to. Um, I'm just looking at it purely because of our wicks here. And we have had found support here on the weekly as well. So our predominant target coming out of this trade was actually this resistance mark here. Let me just take that back. Um, and then following suit, you know, we do have resistance levels coming up into this area here. Just drag that, drag that down. Again, if you don't know how to mark your supply and demand zones, I did a video on that two videos ago, uh, basically telling you how to mark those. But those are my weekly zones, and that's what I'm looking for price action to basically play within these areas. Um, we obviously traded the breakout of this area. Now, why did we trade that breakout? Again, like quite clearly looking at the weekly here, we see a huge break in structure. We've had this extremely successful retest on the back of that trendline breakout. If we use our Fibonacci levels on this, uh, Fibonacci retracements on this from the last low to the high, you know, we you can see that strong bounce on the 50 fib here. This would have been a fantastic entrance for a long. Unfortunately, you know, we I wanted to wait to see if, how we uh, challenge this trend line, and I was looking at too many pairs to be completely honest with you. But we can see we've had a beautiful bounce along this Fibonacci on the weekly. And uh, we want to continue on the breaks breakout. So having a look at the weekly objectives, we can clearly see that this Fibonacci extension lines up to here. So we've broken above the top here. Uh, our longs are from here. You know, we entered longs here um, and projected we could actually extend our target now quite comfortably. I'm going to look at a 336 pip trade here. Uh, we actually had, a, I think it was a 58 stop loss on that. Um, but this is why we break it down now going into the daily. Obviously, coming into the daily, uh, you know, we had this level of Fibonacci resistance here, um, which we cleared beautifully. So once we cleared this Fibonacci level, I knew that we were going to come up to challenge highs up here. Once we challenge these highs, we break it down to the four hour. This is when our pattern formed. And this is, oh, let me just give you that. This is the pattern. This is our Illuminati triangle, people. What we're looking for here is, you know, this is a very small one, but that doesn't mean that it is not as powerful. So basically, we recognize that tr price was trading in a triangle formation here. Not only was it trading in a triangle formation, like I said, uh, if we look out on the chart here, you know, let me just get rid of these Fibonacci levels. Uh, if we look at the chart here, uh, we can clearly see the retest here on that weekly trend line structure, also lining up as our support and resistance on horizontal value. Uh, we had this uptrend forming here, uh, clearly established here with the lower, with the higher lows and the higher high being formed on the break of all these highs here. So this is bullish night and day. It didn't matter where you looked at it. I don't know who was trying to sell it. If you're trying, uh, but this is what we really wanted to focus on was keeping this. Once we saw this continuation pattern break uh, forming here, you know, I knew that it was time to trade this bad boy. Uh, we have a huge bullish consolidation pattern forming at a very key level of support and resistance here, guys. Um, so whenever that happens, we can be looking to trade a breakout because in my mind, favorably, as long as we see price action break out of this pattern in a constructive manner, which we saw here, uh, it's going to act as a continuation pattern. If we wanted to, if it wasn't going to act as a continuation pattern, we would have a break of this lower trend line structure here, and we could see it reverse down to retest lows down here. However, watching that, we caught the breakout absolutely perfectly. And now we're looking at a trade that has, you know, we zoom back out to the daily. You know, we've got a trade here that has a potential risk to reward of five. So on a 2.5% risk, you know, this is where it was, we put our stops like there, like a 50 pip stop. So, you know, we've got a six multiplier on our trade here, 2.5% risk. You know, you can do the maths on that. It's a fantastic trade. It's going to pay out massively. Um, but that's how we traded this pattern, guys. So if you want to write notes on it and you want to think about the key concepts to take away from trading the pattern, you need to establish the trend that the pattern is forming. After you establish the trend that the pattern is forming, you need to look for key areas where the pattern is forming. If it is forming at a key level of resistance or at a key level of support, if it's a bearish triangle, watch for the continuation because what this is signaling here is a consolidation of price before the next move. And quite clearly here, we have levels to break. Whichever way price confirm. Now, I trade these extremely aggressively. Um, 
purely because, you know, from past experience, we have had, I, well, I have had a hell of a lot of success trading the pattern. Um, so usually when I see a four hour volume start to push out quite aggressively, we saw it coming up to here. We had a little tiny pullback on the lower time frames here. Uh, breakout come once we came back down to here and we were retesting. You know, I was uh, in this trade, uh, stopped past the last low, and then obviously our long term targets we project on the weekly level based on support and resistance and also momentum of the market. A lot of people ask me how I can predict such big moves. Well, quite clearly, I'm looking at these levels, I'm not looking at four hour levels for date. You know, I, I look at them to find entries, but targets never. I always look for bigger targets like this because we can see this is extremely constructive price action. If you were trading this on a 30 minute time frame, you would be trading it to this target too. Uh, but there's no difference between trading on the weekly. You just got to, you know, this provides me more opportunity to chill out rather than constantly having to monitor my trades as well. So like I said, we established market momentum using the weekly. We broke it down to the daily to watch for our levels, our constructive price action and the formation of our trend. And then once we've seen the consolidation price uh, consolidation of price happen in this pattern, like I said, it's terminal. So we're looking for the breakout. And once we trade the breakout, happy days, lights out, trade's going to go our way. Short-term targets here, long-term targets here, based on weekly levels, daily levels, larger volume, proper price action levels. Uh, you know, and that's that's the way I trade these. Um, EJ was a fantastic example of that. I was extremely confident in that trade, which is why we took it. Um, but now, you know, let's look at some of the previous trades which we've taken over the over July uh, to see how this pattern has repeated itself. Well, first one I want to look at is EuroCAD. Why do I want to look at EuroCAD? Quite purely because this is not necessarily as constructive as the other ones um, in in the sense that it's not as obvious, basically. Um, but you know. Taking away from the same principles of the last, the last, uh, the last trade that we looked at, and you can see that it still meets all the requirements that we're looking for, right? We've had this huge bullish leg up here. Um, let me get rid of some of these levels, actually, guys. I'm not interested in these lower levels anymore. I'll keep this here. We had our huge bullish leg up here. Price found resistance up here. Uh, price consolidated for us. You know, on our Fibonacci levels, price was consolidating between our, our Fib levels here, between the 0.23 Fib and zero and 50 Fibonacci extension from the low to the high of this breakout from coronavirus. Um, so we knew that there was a consolidation happening here. So what we were looking for from the consolidation was a breakout pattern. I'm all about breakouts. Breakouts are my my bread and butter. Uh, it's a, they're aggressive. They they show you the move going to happen and you're going to more likely be able to catch the bigger movement because, as I said, they're terminal. So price is waiting to react. So when it breaks out of these patterns, it's going to be aggressive, guys. And that's why I love them. But like I said, we can purely see, you know, huge consolidation here, more so consolidation down here. But what we still had was a series of lower highs and higher lows being formed in a triangle pattern. Again, what we saw was a huge breakout coming off the top of this trend line structure and triangle pattern. We entered on the retest here and boom, 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 target achieved 262 pips. Unfortunately, um, I didn't get all the way to target because I took partials up here uh, and I moved my runners to break even. And unfortunately, we had a bigger pullback than what I would have liked um, and it stopped my runners out. But we still cleared 150, 140 pips. But you can see as soon as price broke out of this, we were testing this resistance level here numerous occasions, we broke out of that resistance. We came back, tested a support. And then our clear targets here is going to be this projection here of this range between this pair here. Cover this trade before, um, but I just wanted to highlight it again because we do have this consolidation triangle pattern forming. Don't always look for it to be as clean and bread butter, but uh, you know, that's, we can still see here. Obviously, we had this huge bullish breakout here, and then we found our found our consolidation here, finding our finding our pattern on the consolidation and trading the consolidation breakout. Beautiful trade, super happy with that trade. Again, no drawdown, straight to target. Um, now this is where we got, I wanted to look at the second part of the video where we basically looked at the dollar breakdown, how we projected that through Forex correlations and also through commodity correlations, keeping to our triangle theme. The Illuminati triangle does not lie. So first one we want to look at is obviously silver. This was, romp this was 
like incredible guys. Probably one of my best trades. Uh, obviously, we were in this descending channel formation on the weekly level. We had a huge false breakout here. Um, again, like I always say, false breakouts, we're going to get a huge move to the other side to catch people who are going to keep trying to sell this pair after this breakout. Uh, we basically traded it up here. And we can see that we've been rewarded nowhere near as much as this, unfortunately, because my targets were here, which was the breakout of this resistance. Still netted 300 pips here. Um, but keeping in mind silver, why I wanted to show you silver was because coming down into the four hour volume again, uh, you know, we can clearly see we had all the confirmations we were looking for in the market for our triangle. Again, uptrend established. We had a false break on the weekly on the descending channel support. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a massive continuation to the upside here. Once we found this consolidation price uh, happening here, we identified our pattern. Again, what we were looking for was the breakout and the retest. Again, I didn't trade the retest. I actually did trade the retest. That's a lie. We had our sell limits down here at 18. Uh, we had the sell limit, uh, sorry, the buy limits at 18. We traded the breakout. We came back down. We retested perfectly along that support level, found support. And then because of Silver's inverse relationship to the dollar index, uh, we had this massive blowout on, on Silver, gold, everything. All, all of the metals are going through the roof right now. Keeping in mind, they are heavily inverse correlated to the dollar. And we've seen the dollar plummeting as well. So we've had that breakout. We used our Fibonacci levels from the low to the high of the breakout to establish an entry based on confluences of support. And like I said, trading the Illuminati triangle, once we get a breakout and we get a retest, see you later, mate. We're going to go straight. I mean, this blew, blew, blew me out of the water. I said that I was going to leave a runner indefinitely. I didn't even, I forgot I had this target set for 300 pips. If I didn't, you know, if I didn't have a target pip, we would have easily taken uh, price range additional you know, it's an 800 pip trade, probably could have, what's that? It's nearly a thousand pips we would have claimed on that one trade, guys. You know, but hindsight, unfortunately, I'm happy with the 300 pips. I closed quite a large percentage of profit on that trade. Um, obviously, with the initial risk to reward, you know, this is this is insane. Um, so really happy we call the silver breakout to the T. Um, again, using our Illuminati triangle based on the back of the inverse correlation to the dollar. Now, looking at the dollar index. Let me just grab a drink quickly. I'm excited to film this video because you know it, it proves what well, shows correlations and movements perfectly for for you guys to be educated and, and learn or something. Dollar index. Looking at the weekly, you know this is it. Trend line break structure here. Huge bearish momentum coming down. We broke trend line structure. Ninety two point five five hit to the T. Um, and then we've rejected that. Does that mean the dollar index is going down? No, I don't think we're looking at a reversal quite yet on the dollar. If it's a false breakout, we'll find out next week. Should we get a close back above trendline resistance here? Um, but for now, the dollar is going to find a lot of heavy resistance here before we could look for dollar sells back down to this level here, which I've highlighted. Um, obviously, our Fibonacci extension, we can see that it's acted as support numerous times in extension down to here. Um, but dollars, I knew this dollar breakout was coming and how did I know that this breakdown was coming was quite simply looking at our dollar pairs that we traded. We had huge bullish consolidations forming in the form of our triangle. Here we see it again. Um, obviously we had a bit of an ascending triangle here, which is basically where the top is flat and we have price bouncing with a formation of higher lows but a flat resistance level here that shows price is pushing very heavily against that level here and then we also had our symmetrical triangle forming here this was forming across all xxx usd pairs when there's that much of a confluence in the market and these pairs are looking like they're ready to break out we could have easily we easily predicted the fact that the dollar was going to break down based on the fact that looking at here we have correlation in aud Massive uptrend, uh, coronavirus wiped out. You know, we've now cleared weekly trend line structure, weekly trend line structure coming in here. Uh, so our target was achieved on this trade again. Uh, 235 pips, you know, another five five return on the risk. Uh, so what's that? 
you know, it's, it's another 12.5 roughly percent off the 2.5 percent risk. Obviously, clearing partials at target one here, and then you know onwards to lateral runners here, target up here. But again, we can see this consolidation pattern happening. And once we had a breakout, we had a retest here of the support level. We entered on the back of this trade, and um, 21st of July, AUD picked up steam and we broke out. Look how we've retested that weekly trend line structure here as support, and then we've broken out again. I think AUD is on its way to break out uh, quite heavily, and we could see AUD trend a lot higher, in my opinion, um, even coming up to test the 0 0.75 level. Uh, looking back at history, we see it here in the 2008 financial crisis. We had this huge breakdown in AUD, obviously, with the correlation of uh, the S&P and equities. And then we had a huge bounce back. I mean, look at that. That is a huge huge move by AUD. I mean, we could potentially just be at the start of it here. So I don't see why AUD could not push up to test here on a complete reversal. Um, but let's see, there's a long way to go on that one. We won't be, we'll be trading it as it comes. Uh, but again, like I said, huge, huge uh, Illuminati triangle at a huge level of resistance for the Aussies. Uh, AUD, USD right here, you can see the level. You can see it on the weekly very clearly as well huge level of support and resistance for the pair and we had this beautiful bullish continuation panning right underneath resistance in line with other pairs so let's look at uh obviously we established silver with the inverse correlation to the dollar uh let's look at gbusd again we've covered this trade multiple times however here's again we see our bullish continuation pattern forming in the illuminati triangle uh, not only does it form right under a horizontal level of resistance, but it's also pressuring that daily trend line structure here. So that's another huge continuation. And you can see the bulls are just getting ready. It's like a spring for these guys. Had a couple of false breaks here. You know, this wasn't as clean, but at the end of the day, the market conditions met exactly what we were looking for. The formation of this continuation pan was right beneath a strong level of resistance. Dollar was weak. We knew the dollar was going to come down. And how do we know that? Like I said, looking at the trend structure on the dollar, as well as the fact that we saw these uh, bullish continuation patterns forming across the majority of, uh, of majors across, across USD pairs. So fantastic pattern. Honestly, guys, if it meets the market conditions, it's definitely one of my favorite to trade. In summary, like I said, uh, it's a continuation pattern based on terminality of the pattern it's going to end and wherever it ends, it's going to be a huge breakout. Um, so that's it guys. You know, I hope you, you learned something from this video. Hopefully you can take away some of the uh, insights from me and apply it to your own trading. That's the purpose of all of this. Uh, and like I said, just write down those confirmations. And if you see it in the market, watch it, wait for the break, wait for the retest, get in. I traded it aggressively. It doesn't mean you necessarily have to. If you're liking the content guys, keep, uh, keep subscribing, keep commenting. And uh, more importantly, like I said, keep sharing, guys. I'm here giving all of this out for free. Um, all I ask in your return is you basically help spread the word, guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to August. We've got a big August coming up. We've got NFP and BOE on the first week. 4,000 plus pips this month on trading. Uh, let's see if we can continue smashing it in the third, week, uh, third month of the community, guys. Anyway, I hope you well. Take it easy and see you in the markets in the group chat. Peace.